Uh, is this thing working? I, I honestly don't know here. <laughs> uh, okay, uh, how many is watching? Hey, I'm excited. Me too, I haven't uploaded for like, god, how long has it been? Nine months? Let's see. Yeah, it's been nine months since I last uploaded. What, what the hell have I been doing in the background? <laughs> Uh, so, welcome to the stream, everyone! Uh, God, I haven't done this in so long. I forgot most of the, uh, quirks when it comes to, you know, OBS and whatnot. Not to mention, I have, you haven't heard my voice in a while. So, uh, hello, how's that? Was... <laughs> it's... Hi, Johnny, I... Like the little Storybook Weaver reference here. Uh, so, I've got Potato Game open, and what I'm going to do here is I'm going to play through every single Potato Game I've ever made up to this point, and uh, maybe provide a little bit of developer's commentary, and, uh, you know, just sit around and answer some of your questions, I suppose. Uh, so, so, if you haven't played the Potato Games before and don't want to be spoiled by all the stuff I'm about to show you, uh, th th what the hell are you doing? Go download Potato Game already. I've put a link in the uh, description if you want to get all these games. So, uh, I guess there's no point in sitting around anymore. So, just let's begin with what else? The original Potato Game. Uh, Oh yeah, I still need to turn up the desktop audio. So, uh, just so you know, these games can get, uh, they can get pretty loud, so... I recommend turning down your volume a little bit. Reinhold here, also happy St. Patrick's Day, Alex Plus. Uh, thanks, and happy birthday to Matt, one of the, uh, one of the guys who helped with some of the later games. If you need any of us, Alex, and the Potato Team to help you with some additional developer commentary, we can help. Uh, like, I might do that later on in the stream, but, uh, I'm not too sure how exactly to set that up yet. Also, I just realized I am not wearing headphones. Brown Bear Revels suck. Uh, not much. I'm just getting up and getting my headphones, so just give me a minute while you listen to the title screen music here. <laughs> I have no idea... I have no idea where I put one of the cables. Uh, the thing does not have Bluetooth, so... It really... Is this the right cable? Uh... I'll try it. I don't know what this cable exactly... ...works... ...or not, so... Just plugging it in and hoping for the best here. Gold-plated, uh, apparently that sounds better. Also, I don't know. Is the mic too loud? I could turn it down. Uh. Okay, I don't think this cable is going to work. Uh, thankfully I have another one plugged into this old Windows 98 computer, which, yes, I have one of these sitting next to the one I'm using right now, but, uh, I do not have a VGA capture card, so... Not, you're not going to be able to get any footage from that. Is this the right plug-in? It is not. I plugged it into the microphone thing, thinking it was, uh, <laughs> thinking it was the headphone slot. Gonna have to relaunch the game here, so I can hear it. Yeah, hopefully the mic isn't too, uh, ear rapey. I, I don't, I don't want anyone to go deaf, and I don't want my voice to be distorted either. So, uh, mic here keyboard here. So, uh, sorry for prolonging everything, I was just, uh, grabbing some headphones. That way you don't, like, hear any echoing through the desktop speakers. So, uh, let's begin with Potato Game 1, and if you have any questions, just don't be afraid to ask, I suppose. There we go. Controls. Arrow keys? Uh, nothing. <laughs> the arrow keys do nothing. <laughs> I never even noticed that until, like, just now. Wow. Control, jump, and shift is to <laughs> attack. Turn off the sticky key shortcut for the best experience. Yeah, if you're gonna play these, you may want to turn off the little sticky key 
Sure, okay, you can go do that by going into, like, the, uh, settings, uh, I believe it's accessibility, ease of access. Uh, actually, I don't remember where it is. <laughs> I only ever turn off sticky keys, like, once, and then I never turn it back on. Use sticky keys. Here we go, uh, settings, ease of access, keyboard, use sticky keys, allow the shortcut to start key sticky keys, disable that. We don't want that window coming up when we're, <laughs> when we're trying to scream at everything. So, uh, so here we go, potato game one. Oh, <laughs> I forgot how floaty the controls are. I'm so used to, like, the click team fusion engine that, uh, like, I've been making random stuff in the Click Team Fusion engine. I forgot how floaty the original engine was. I don't remember where I got, like, half the minis from, so if you want any titles of some of the minis, I'm sorry, I do not remember most of them. <laughs> And yes, that was somewhat of a pun. The pirate likes the pirate movies. Hardy ha ha. Let's just kill him before the FBI gets to him first. <laughs> and then, of course, we got the room of collides here. Just. And if I'm being honest, I have no idea why I came up with, like, half the stuff you're about to see in Potato Game 1 and 2, but, uh, I could barely hear the game. Yeah, I only turned it down because of that. I, I don't- I don't want the screams to overtake the, uh, the, uh, my own voice, but, uh, <laughs> FBI is a <open> bit up! <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I didn't want the screams to take over my voice, so... I could turn it up a bit more if you want me to. Though, so, uh, just so you know, the game can get, uh, pretty loud. Ah! I, gu I guess that'll have to do. It's, it's time to kick garbage, you ass. And I'm all out of ass. Damn! <laughs> I love that video so much, I don't know why. <laughs> Hopefully I set this video to not for kids, also my kids <laughs> might get a strike or something. I don't I don't know how that system entirely works. Collide sounds like collide. Yeah, it really does, doesn't it? Collide, collide. Yeah, I pronounce collide like collide for some reason. I don't know why I do that. Look at me, I'm on top of the world! On top of the world! I got stuck for a moment. Oh, I know what's up for dinner. You, you won't demise. It screams, you stupid. Uh, I haven't actually come up with anything before the stream. This chicken's toast. Is that even a bad quote? I don't, I don't know. Sure did, Murray. Sometimes I forget the game, like, curses you out here, but, uh, it definitely does. Probably should have put, like, a... Probably should have put, like, a strong language warning here before the stream. Whoops! Sorry! <laughs> oh, oh, crap. <laughs> I disabled the audio by clicking out the window! <laughs> I forgot you could totally just do that with Click Team... Well, not Click Team, uh, the Games Factory. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, that's Potato Game 1. Uh, there's a secret if you, like, uh, get a good bunch of points, which you can access by, like, doing something in the Collide Room. You know, I'll go ahead and show you what to do. It's so, like, you have to play the game with normal, uh, killing everything. Uh, kind of like this. Just play the game how you normally would, just killing everything until you get to the collide room. I like it. Oh, Maxie. 
Okay, so once you get to the Collide Room, you want to kill all of the Collides except for one. And then the one that's left, you just run into it. And then you do the exact same thing again. Oh no, this is happening. Okay, so there's like a weird thing that happens sometimes with these old games is that old Games Factory games are like sometimes, like if you scream too much or something, the game gets really weird and like plays the last few seconds of audio or something and keeps freezing unless you touch some of the controls. Yeah, compatibility problems are kind of weird, but hopefully I'll still be able to show you what to do. Just jump into the collide there and then kill all of them and then continue onward. But uh, yeah, hopefully these problems... I, I'd i show you the uh, what happens if you continue the game onward from here, but I'll leave that as like a surprise for you to discover. Okay, so... I'm gonna look into Task Manager and see if I can like fix the problem that's going on here. Uh, Clothespaint.net mm -hmm. Alex, are, are you really green? Unless you color on the buttons green, no. But, like I'm wearing an old NES shirt that there's no green on here. But too bad you're not going to be able to pinch me through the monitor. <laughs> if that's what you were trying to do, then too bad. Not to mention, I think I might have built up an immunity to that. But uh, yeah, hopefully those sound problems, whatever those are, do not affect us in Potato Game 2. For the Philips CDI, because why not? I'm into YouTube poops, okay? Shush! So like, before we... S so, like, before we start the game here, there's, like, a secret in the title screen. If you, like, click the two in the title screen, if I could do it. Uh. Yeah, a sound effect plays when you click it. <laughs> I'm not capturing the mouse cursor, so I'm unable to show you where exactly you click, but you're supposed to click on the spinning two. But uh, let's start the game, and yeah, it's same control scheme as the first game, where the arrow keys do absolutely nothing! And yes, this is Sneaky Snitch. Played a bit faster for some reason because of how Click Team Fusion uh, Games Factory works or something. <laughs> but, uh, honestly, I like the uh, speed it plays at here. Makes it a bit more intense, if you know what I'm saying. Can't hear the sound effect. Oh, wait, I turned off the desktop audio. Sorry, I'll do the secret again. Yep, there's a secret. Faster music makes it a bit more intense, you know? And then there's like a little a little hamburger here, also known as the steamed hams. Uh, Steam ham. That just gives you an extra life. <laughs> yeah, don't worry, I've already turned it up. There's like a stream delay. It's like you guys is, uh... Complaints about the sound don't appear until like 15 seconds after you s don't like appear on my screen until like 15 seconds after you send them or something. <laughs> it's election year, <laughs> and of course it's Jeff here. You're crap, Jeff. Trust me, the effect is way cooler when we get to Potato Game Free, but. I'll say what happens until we actually get there. And then of course there's like secrets here, so Vote red or we're all dead. You get these sound effects by clicking on the girl, so I'll I'll capture my mouse, don't worry. Here it is. Vote red or we're all dead. Vote pink or you stink. Vote blue, no matter who. And of course, the ghosts speak here, too. Vote purple. That's it. Vote green. If you don't, that's just me. Vote gray 
or you're mm. Hey look everyone, it's the game mechanic that's gone absolutely nowhere after this stage! <laughs> I'd like to see you try! <laughs> yes you can! You can wait, Link! Lunk. However, I want to put out your name. Ah, oh, no, not again! I think I might still be able to beat the boss, though. Oh! I got past the sound glitch! Yay! <laughs> We can continue onward! But then again, it wouldn't really have affected me that much if the sound cl glitch kept happening because, uh, there's a password here. <laughs> like, cause, like, if the sound glitch kept happening, I would have just quit the game and entered in the password after I beat the boss, but, uh, seems like the sound glitch went away after the boss, so, that's good. I'm abstaining from voting because censored because politics. Oh no! Boss again! The bosses in Potato Game 2 are very easy. You, you really don't need to worry. And then this is another gimmick. The maze, which is like a top-down perspective thing. And I tried to somewhat recreate the game as faithfully as possible here with like the pack dots and whatnot. And, and yes, the music here is from Pac-Man World Rally, if you're a Pac-Maniac and new already. But if you didn't, then uh, there you go. The music here is from Pac-Man World Rally. Which honestly, as a kid, I barely knew. I thought it was like an original track that Scratch made or something. Since I heard it a lot over there. If so, where are the dots? And where are the ghosts? I'm killing them all! That's where they are! They're all dead! Well, except for one, we'll get to him eventually. Now, a funny thing with these dots, when you eat them all, you get like 10,000 points, right? It was originally supposed to give you an extra life, but then I realized if you, like, leave a ghost alive and then die to it, you can... And then do the same thing again, ad nauseum, you could basically give yourself an infinite number of points, and I didn't want that to happen, so it just gives you an extra 10,000 instead. Also, pretend it's the 90s and you got a new console advertised as having full motion video. Because this game has a ton of full motion video. <laughs> there he goes! Off into wherever, I suppose. Again, I hope my voice isn't distorted on your end. I, I don't use this mic typically, unless I'm doing like a Discord voice call, so... How much did your throat hurt after you did the potato scream? Uh, I was like 11 years old back then, and I can't really remember how much my throat hurt. Basically, what I did was, I screamed as I normally would. <laughs> Something like that, up close to my laptop's mic. And then I like, sped it up time by two, put it on scratch, and there you go! Potato scream! <laughs> I think I might have originally had the- I don't remember, but I think I might have originally had it like, where you- whenever you hit a wall, you like, destroyed. If that's really what I was gonna do, then you know what, I'm so glad I didn't do that. Cause some of these walls are narrow. Very, very narrow.
Ah, someone's upstairs. Must be my dad or something. Do what? Kill you? Okay. No, this is worse than being neglected for thirty seven years. What do you mean, Tim? You're already dead. He's died again. And at the credits, well, Ghost Boss. Uh, yeah. I don't know why I put that in animators. But technically speaking, that's where the sound effect from the laser came from, but you know what, whatever. I'll, I guess I was just a little quick to get this game out before the March 31st deadline. But more like April 4th, uh, the way you gotta release this game on April Fool's Day, but I decided, you know what, I'll release it a day early instead, because I just couldn't wait to, uh, get it released, but, uh, yeah. Oh, god damn it, Murray. <laughs> yeah, I don't know where this guy keeps coming from. Oh, yeah, I remember. He comes from nowhere. Welcome to Welcome to I did it! Uh, again. My mouse curse is in the way, whoops. There I am, Gary! There I am! <laughs> I'm just gonna let this play until we get back to the title screen. Cause there's also another secret ending in this game. Hooray for secret endings! Okay, we get it. We get it. <laughs> Okay, so like, in order to uh, get the secret ending in this game, you have to like, play, like with the original, you have to play the game normally until you get to the uh, room with Jeff in it. Uh, how have you been, by the way, Alex? Fine, I suppose. Not making videos for a day has really done stuff to my brain. <laughs> you want to get the steamed hams here, too. Okay, so once you get to the room with Jeff, you don't want to kill the, uh, Pingus right away. What you want to do is kill Jeff, which gives you 9,001 points, and then run into this Pingus over here. Do this three- do this two more times, and then just advance the game as normally. <laughs> Clicking the ghost- ghost posters doesn't really matter, but, uh... Yeah, just play the game as normal. We collect all the pack dots and the pack mains and whatever, and just kill every single enemy that you can find. <laughs> Again, I'd show you what happens, but I'll leave that as a surprise for uh, for you to discover. But uh, yeah, now we're on to Potato Game Three, the last. This actually, I think I might do Grimace first. It's like quadrilateral order or something. After Potato Game Two. Like, I pulled a prank on y'all, where I pretended to at least Potato Game 3, and then you downloaded it, and opened it up, and what you got was this. <laughs> Except that the intro had the screaming potato and whatnot. But, uh, yeah, here we are with Grimace, I suppose. Press space to Grimace. Will do. And then the instruction screen is just... As unhelpful as ever. <laughs> and if you click Grimace, it plays a sound effect. Oh, gee, Rimpers, all these secret endings are so well done. I guess. This, I'm pretty sure this game has more full motion video than, uh, than, uh, the first two potato games. The fact there's so much that uh, there's actually full motion video for when you lose here. In fact, there was in uh, Potato Game 2, but I was too good. It didn't show it. Today, I'll make an exception and show you all the uh, death scenes in. <laughs> I forgot that happens. 
But uh, today I'll make an exception and show you all the death scenes in Grimace. Since there's three unique ones in the game. So here we go at game over number one. Ooh, who is this mysterious villain? It totally isn't Kurga Bang or anything. <laughs> I remember where I was and how I was when I was April Fool by Grimace. Don't you mean Grimace by Grimace? <laughs> some, pe some people just don't know how this works. Also, I think it's safe to say I can turn up the volume here since the Big Macs aren't as loud, so now I get to hear more of the music. Yay. This is also the first game where the Collide Room returns. With shoes, too. No, you. Oh. Okay, we're both dead. Okay, cool. That, 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 that's exactly what I wanted to happen. What does he do? You guessed it. Jump off a cliff and die. Because I don't know. I I guess he just does that. Uh, that wasn't supposed to happen. <laughs> I don't know what happened, but I guess the game thought we got here. This is a secret passageway, but uh, hopefully I didn't ship this game with a bug or anything. Let's try again. This how it's jumped directly into the hole. Not again. I don't know why this keeps happening, it just does. There we go. There we go. Yes, I did. Yes, it is. <laughs> I'm making pizza. Good for you. <laughs> it's time to kick ass and chew bubble gum, and I'm all out of gum. Good for you. I don't know what I'm making tonight. Probably reheating last night's dinner. Do I look like a Tinky Winky to you, buddy? A Big Bird's little sister or whatever people call you nowadays? In this game, whatever? I don't- I, I honestly don't know. <laughs> and yes, I am exploiting a glitch where if he like goes all the way down and then he come back, he's stuck in the floor sometimes. I don't know why this happens, it just does. Of course you did. <laughs> <Get Big Mac. laughs> Sigma? That wasn't Sigma! That was Waddle the Donald! Grimace. I dare you to try to pronounce this. Lama wa swayoi. Lama wa swayoi. That, that good? I honestly don't know. Were you trying to trick me into like saying a dirty word or something? So how dare you? I have the same name as you, lol. Yeah, cause my name is Stick Guy. 
That is that is my full legal name, and I will and I will take pride in that. <laughs> Stick guy. If you beat the game, you got the potato game free release date. Yeah, I know that sound was kind of lame. Well, there's your pretty close. Date. It's so some it's weird shit that Kanye said sweet. in that part. What part? All right, back to working on the damn thing. Is that a song name? I'm not. I'm not too interested in that kind of stuff, honestly. All right, so let's start the game again. At this time, I'm gonna show you everything else there is to offer in Grimace. For example, let's jump out of the left. I'm sure no consequences will come for doing that. Ah, my ears! Right, right. I take that back. There were consequences. There it goes again, doing this thing. I don't know why it does this. Okay. I'm gonna try again. This time, let's hope the sound glitch doesn't come on board. I, I don't know what activates it, honestly. Maybe it's just too much sound effects on screen at once? Okay, I need to relaunch the game. <laughs> I apologize for all the technical difficulties. Let me make it up to you with this. Okay, there we go. Hopefully that made up for it. Curse it. Don't think I forget how small Grimace is compared to the Hamburglars. Hamburglars. I don't know if this is actually like the size difference in real life with real life Grimace and Hamburglar, but you know what, whatever. It's a game, nothing has to be too logical. Like how the clown is like the same height as this taste bud, whatever he's supposed to be. You sure are. So is that guy. And him. Okay, let's get the game over number two by jumping back into the hole. Oh, okay, I'm falling again. Oh. Yeah, yeah, we get it. I have not programmed a way to uh, skip the cutscene, so unfortunately, you're gonna have to watch through the whole thing again. Yeah, yeah, we get it. Can I skip you? It's time to kick ass and chew bubble Besides gum. Window X, that way I'm it. all out of gum. Thanos Patrick. Hopefully that's how it was before. I mean, it seems close enough. Okay, so let's get game over number two by dying to the Ronald boss. Which, yes, there is a unique sound effect for he dies, Thanos Patrick. I'm pushing him into the lava early! <laughs> Is it a little too early to be dumping him into the lava, Grimace? <laughs> Hi, Alex Poe, I'm Queen Lisa. Good for you? Apparently I have not reset the like 
life counter after that game over. <laughs> ah, damn it. This is the wacky game I ever seen. Uh, okay. No swerve! Why swerve? Because swerve, I... Because swerves, I guess. Ah, well, okay. Cool. Great, excellent. Good, great, awesome, outstanding, amazing, as Jack Lucas Caffrey would say. Is he still on the stream? I don't know. I was totally screwed. Hopefully we have just one life left, which... I'm sorry, Alex, but I'm a big fan. I wasn't trying to insult you or anything. Oh, wow, the frame rate... The frame rate in the stream is, for some reason, it's a bit higher than it is on... on my desktop. Maybe it's nothing to do with the monitor I'm using, I don't know. Which, yeah, I forgot to mention, I got dual monitors now. Uh, not too sure how to properly demonstrate it. Which, yeah, on one monitor I got the game, on the other I got, uh, you know, the stream and the chat and whatnot. Bye, trash. Bye, Grimace. See you never. Uh, no. no, why? <laughs> you can swear, but don't slur. Don't worry, I'm not that kind of person. <laughs> He's right, I do say that. Okay, good, you are still in the stream. It's time to kick ass and chew bubble gum. I'm all out of gum. Hey, no Patrick. Okay, yeah, you're back here again. Now let's... Wait, why'd I get back here? I already died here. Well, no harm in dying again, I suppose. Bye. Okay, let's get to the uh, secret ending. And the secret game over, too. I wish I had two monitors. Yeah, if you do stuff like streaming one, you, you, you definitely should look into getting a secondary monitor. Like before, I was just using one. It, it made everything cluttered. Now I've got the stream on one side, the game on the other side. Yeah, I think it's fair to say this is a pretty good setup. Okay, let's get the, uh, let's get the secret game over, and then let's get the actual secret ending. Who are we fighting, you ask? Well, take a look for yourself. He's going to fight the goose from the Untitled Goose Game! Yes, this stage is an entire reference to Johnny's second story. He's going to fight the goose from the Untitled Goose Game! We got dual monitors before dual monitors were cool back in 2012. I'm pretty sure back then some workstations had like triple monitors for some reason. Oh, here's game over three. Pay close attention because the secret is hard to miss. Or hard to. Easy to miss, I mean. And I still haven't reset the lives counter. Crap. I forgot I applied that to like one game over screen and that's it. Oh, 
Hopefully I can at least like a patched version that actually fixes that problem. Alright, let's get the secret ending now. Holy Bye. <laughs> Early lead, I, I guess. Honk, ba 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 boom, he died. Bye, Grimus. It sure did, dude. How does that mean I can't like and subscribe? <laughs> Congrat, you donald the game. Now go and beat it legitimately. Imagine speedrunning this game. Imagine speedrunning any potato game. Would that even make the choice? Is that even allowed? Like, legally? Who knows? That would be amazing, though, to see potato game speedruns and whatnot, like on an official speedrun website or something. Yep, that would be incredible. Alright, well, it's finally time. Let's check out Potato Game 3. Now there's actually two endings we can get in Potato Game 3. We'll start with the bad ending and then we'll play the game again and go for the good one. So here we go, Potato Game 3. You gotta just scream your lungs out to save the world in the most intense potato game yet. I tried to sell you on that as hard as possible, especially since the other two games are just shit posts. <laughs> There was a secret here at one point where if you clicked, this game was originally called Potato Game It's Free, but I changed it to Three instead. If you click the Three here, it was originally gonna play that sound clip from that one Roblox commercial. You know, It's Free. You know, <laughs> that one. Merlin, you've done it again. Context: I got disconnected for the internet. Damn it, Merlin! I know I haven't made a video for the past nine months, but that doesn't mean you can go around and screw with my friends. Butthole. And yes, this game has a menu system. I tried to make this like the most complex and overall best potato game as possible. So uh, this time we have a separate instruction screen, and now it actually tells you what the arrow keys do. Finally! That's exactly what these games are missing! Alright, so stage one, Green Hell Zone. My cursor's in the way again. I mean, I don't think there's any clickable secrets in this one, so we're just gonna disable that. I've playtested this game so many times, I basically know what's coming. We're going for the bad ending, so... Like, up here, there's like a C. See? There it is. And since we're going for the bad ending, we don't... We want to miss at least one of those. We're gonna go ahead and miss the one here in Green Hell Zone. Ah! <laughs> Bye, microwave. Well, I also fucked my computer and now it don't work. What is it with that guy anyway? So drunk he's breaking into people's homes and screwing with them. I am dog. Show sure our dog, Sonic.jpg. You show sure our dog. Oh, also, this is the first and only potato game to actually include, like, a real save system. So, like, if I reset the game here, like that, 
We now have two options in the menu, continue and initialize save data. If we continue here, we basically get back to where we left off, here in Oven Street. There's also a secret, type in Oven and this happens. Welcome to Oven Street! I don't know why I didn't just turn this into like... I don't know why I didn't just turn this into like a secret ending after you beat the game, but... Here we are, at the very least, this song gets some representation. Here's Refrigerator with Big Boy, which has these are parodies of the Sesame Street characters that Angry Birdman over here, he basically made these two, so give a hand to John for coming up with these two dummies. Hey, I'm Big Boy. Give me your tray. Look, what, like this wand that Refrigerator's holding? I don't know what you need it for, but okay, there you go. I'm out of here, bye. Okay, bye! Bye, big boy. I'll see you in the clouds, I guess. Next time I'm stargazing. No, you're not. I already killed you. Oven is just Grover. He sure is. This whole stage is basically just one big inside joke that none of you will understand. Oh yeah, this level also marks the return of I still like the pirate movies. This guy. No, Maisie. Yeah, the very least he didn't get caught by the FBI or something. I want cash. I want cash. Bye, trap. Oh, you like cash, huh? Why don't you like it if I took it away? Ah, <laughs> oh, great! This is happening again. I'm trying to see if I can get rid of it. <laughs> He's just infinitely screaming. I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna turn that down. Uh, reset. <laughs> I don't know why that keeps happening. Oh, wait, I need to actually reset the thing. <laughs> Yeah, this sound glitch is a problem when it comes to, like, playing the game on modern machines. I don't know why it does that whenever I try. Maybe if I set the game to, like... Maybe if I set the actual game executable to Windows 98 compatibility mode or something. I'm gonna... I'm gonna try that. Money! Money, shut up! <laughs> Basically. So here we go. Potato game. Games. Potato game free. Compatibility. Run this game in compatibility for Windows 98 slash Windows ME. Alright, let's try it now. Oh look, you can't really see it, but uh, actually I could show you. Maybe. I haven't actually created a window for showing the entire desktop. Hold up. Display capture, display capture, look, it's a Windows 7 logo, this just further proves my point that Windows 10 is just Windows 7 in disguise, <laughs> whatever, whatever exactly I'm trying to prove at this point, that Microsoft's lazy, who knows, right, here we go again with Robin Street, oh look, a hidden now loading screen that you couldn't see otherwise, Gonna know that that appears in this mode. Yeah, basically these screens appear for like a split second. And in Windows 10 it's so fast that you can't see them. I mostly did that because if you like reload the frame, I refresh the frame itself instead of going to the previous frame. I'm not too sure what happens, but it like locks up in this area and you spawn here. And then when you go further it loads... Like a different part of the area? I don't really know how it works. Everything refrigerator. Everything is wrong with me.
Jumped off a bridge. Oh, you like cash, huh? I'm gonna repeat this joke again. You really like this stuff, huh? Well, how would you like it if I just took it away? <laughs> you stupid idiot. Look at me, I'm rich. I think. I don't know. I might be. Sorry. I didn't get to say the full thing. Maybe if I die? And yes, unique death animation. Oh, nope. Okay. If you're wondering, he said, Hi, potato, it's time for me to cook you with my talking ovens. Which is a reference to another character John made, the talking oven, which you saw earlier in Potato Game 2 in that lava. Bye, oven, stupid oven, whatever your name is, see you never, I guess. Alright, stage three, Nostalgia Land, one of my favorite stages. You wanna know why? Well, just look. The entire stage is based on Windows XP. <laughs> Which, I don't remember if it was, but I think this might have been the very first Windows OS I ever used. I think. I don't know if it was Windows 7, I don't know, but... I just installed. Uh, hey, Alex, come here, please. Ah, great. And my Google Home went off. It would be on my dad's voice. Uh, be right back for a second. This game doesn't have a true pause button, so uh, there we go. I just hang the application. Uh, just, just give me a moment. Stream, man, what are you talking about? Oh, whoops. Stream, man, what are you talking about? I just had the Be Right Back! Though, to be fair, I haven't actually made, like, a Be Right Back card or anything. <laughs> really should have thought of that. Whoops. My bad. Oh, the music's done. Cool. I'm gonna die again, just that way we can hear it. Oh. I think I might have just muted the entire game's soundtrack. Give me a moment. Yep. <laughs> the MIDI is gone. Somebody should make that to like one of those crab wave gifts. Those are still popular. The music is gone. <laughs> Something like that. I don't know. Those are stupid, at least. Okay, here we go again. And if you're wondering, yes, this is supposed to be a window of the original potato game. <laughs> I even straight up copied some of the assets for that and flung them in here. 
Assuming you can still hear the audio. I use cloud.mid for this. And yes, just ignore that window. One of my friends... One of my old friends made that for me. I'm thinking of somewhat censoring that at some point. Since the joke doesn't exactly work out that well anymore. Oh yeah, and this is another weird thing. If you like, go right and then go back here, like this. Semi-solid platforms like this don't work anymore. Jump through platforms, whatever. So what you have to do is run all the way to the left, then run all the way back to the right, and then they work again. And that's stupid. Like, I realized later on during development that, uh, quick backdrops straight up eliminated that issue, but, uh, it was a little too late to implement the fix, so I just kept a bad vid. Congratulations, user! You bought a free iPhone! Click yes to claim your prize! Not again, Merlin. What, did he disconnect you? Is he the one who wrote this? <laughs> oh god, imagine Merlin making scam ads. It'd be like, Hey! Click yes to get me a beer or something! <laughs> something like that. We're safe to since we missed them, we're safe to like grab these keys, and the only reason I want to do that right now is because I'm at two lives, and when you grab a key, it actually gives you an extra life. So you like this, so if you like miss one, you still get an award for collecting the rest. And now I might need as many extra lives as possible, since if I remember correctly, the bosses only get harder from here. What will you do with all your files? Delete literally all the backup. Backup is grayed out. Viruses! You get to install a virus of your choice! What will you choose? Bonzi Buddy? Red Clean Pro? Or Mems? Memes, however you want to pronounce that. I already read this- that one. And this one I custom made myself. A potato screams so loudly it made all of your files disintegrate. What will you do now? Reinstall Windows? Mourn? Or play potato game? Fun fact, this was actually my Twitter banner at one point. I liked it. Let me switch it back one day. And then over here, we got blatant self-advertising, courtesy of Johnny over here. Angry Bird, man. Hopefully he's okay with me saying that. <laughs> uh, World Field Educational Learning Game. Bonzi. JK, I already have an iPhone 13. Good for you? And then over here, we got even more blatant self-advertising. Angry Bird Man on Free's first story! <laughs> I feel like I should have made it so that if you like press the button here, it actually play the sound clip of this story. <laughs> I really should have done that. And then of course, Bonzi. Bye Bonzi. See you never. I take it back, please bring back Bonzi. He was better than this. Way better than this. I think originally this guy's projectiles like aimed right at you, but I think that might have made it a bit too hard, so I just made it random like the rest of the bosses. Lol, is that real sight? Yeah, it's Johnny's uh, game. Potent chain? No. No! Potigent. Potigent. Why is the commercial pronounced in like two different ways? Alright, next level. But first, let's go ahead and blow up the computer, just for fun. And there we go. Perfect. <laughs> Alright, stage four, CDI rule. Fun fact, when I made my 600 sub Q&A video, this was the only level that I did not show off. I'm pretty sure it was already finished at the time, I just didn't bother to show it, I suppose. Penis. Penis. 
So you are seeing this level on video for the first time. Maybe for the very first time, unless you've played the game. My PC is dead. I wish I could make mobile ports for you, but, uh... Unfortunately, this software was made in 1996. And besides, even if I do have Click Team Fusion 2.5, which I do, I do not have the mobile exporters. Nor do I think Google would allow me to, uh, you know, get this game on their app store. Let alone Apple. They would never allow something like this. Look at this cool little portal. I wonder what a Oh! Good, I'm here now. I've already been streaming for an hour, my god. Oh, and I think my internet's pretty good, too. You can't see it, but zero drop frames. The stream should be running at a solid 60 FPS so far. wonder if it's something to do with the new modem or router or whatever. How? I don't know how. I just do, I guess. I do thing. Let's get this in the Book of Cordai. This is a little joke with the Zelda CDI game, since when it comes to the boss, if you have like the Book of Cordai or something, then... Well, I'll just show you once I get there. So this is like a little joke with like the CDI game. The CDI Zelda games, that is. That, okay. I guess. Uh, so, like, there's a little joke with the CDI games. Like, in most Zelda games, it takes, like, a ton of hits to, uh, defeat Ganon. Which, yes, this is the boss of the stage. In most regular Zelda games, it takes, like quite a ton of hits to beat that guy. In the CDI games, and in this game with the Buck of Cordai, you wanna know how much it take how many hits it takes to beat Ganon? One. One hit. One <laughs> Talk about an easy boss fight, am I right? <laughs> Alright, let's go. I don't care! Bye, Zeta! See you... up uh, sometime. Stage 5, the bootleg dimension. If Joel is watching this, I probably already pissed him off. Sorry, Joel. I recommend you turn this off until after I get past the boss here. <laughs> Bye, Samari. Oh, like it's bootleg orange Gumby and green Pokey. But where's blue Gumby? Good. Oh, God. <laughs> I think the joke here is obvious, but let's plow through these guys anyway. No, I will not, and you can't just fucking stop me. Okay, let's pull the flagpole down now. Did I say down? I meant up. Well, let's pull the flagpole up. Where's anyone else? 
stick, stick guy's the only guy talking here. Where is everyone? Did I bore you guys too much with the screen potato? I'm sorry. <laughs> this is just what I decided on for the stream today, I guess. Yeah, it's been running out a solid, solid 60 frames so far. Nice. My Flintstone, see you on my next box of Fruity Pebbles. Stage 6, The Undead Cemetery. The final level of the game, that is if you haven't collected all the keys, but I'll get to that in due time. By the way, you can thank me for that abomination. Yeah, Johnny Drew, the Ouija Amogus guy as well. He did a lot of things for this game. Hardy ha ha, let's get to it. Let's kill him before the zombie FBI gets to do it first. My mouth is flabbering today. I think I wanted to make this level longer, but I might have ran out of time, so I just did this. Good for you. I guess. See you never, boy. <laughs> and this is the bad ending because I didn't collect all the keys in the game. It's basically just credits and whatnot. I guess while we're waiting for these to go by, if anybody has any more any questions for me before I get to like the good ending and whatnot, uh, ask right now <laughs> or something. Uh, you can fake uh, Jack Lucas Caffrey for most of the uh, later music, like this credits theme, for example. Though technically speaking, another one of his friends uh, composed this one. I'm pretty sure Jack's the one that uh, did the MIDI version of this, since it was originally a live track. I'm like, uh, don't worry, I'm playing this game again, because this is just a bad ending. The credit theme was mini programmed by me, but composed by David Adderley. Yeah. Yeah, there you go, for the man himself. I voiced almost every single character. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> John's the kind of voice guy, you know. He does a ton of the voices here.
Oh boy, who is this character? He's so mysterious. I know for sure he ain't uh, just an inverted screaming potato head or anything. Alright, so now what we have to do is start a new game and play the game again because no, you cannot go backwards in the map of this one. Despite there being a map screen. So we basically have to play the entire game again from the start and just collect all the keys. I don't know what I was thinking. So here we go again, I guess, with Potato Game 3 Part 2, good ending. Alright, key one collected. Bye. <laughs> yep, here we go again. Then now he's dead. And if you're wondering about the red key, if you didn't see it, uh... It was right here with her hand. You can't collect it after you took a wand, because then she'll hurt you. No, you're not. I need to start a new career with potato game speed running. <laughs> Pretty much. Yeah, we get it. I jumped, accidentally. <laughs> you know, I'm just gonna reset the game again and continue from there, cause... For the final level, I want as many lives as possible. Everything. Everything is wrong with me, refrigerator. Whoops. Why am I suddenly dying so much in Oven Street? Yeah, Johnny, let's make the potato game speed running community. How fat is just two people, though? Hopefully I don't make the same mistake again. Let's make it happen! Yeah, let's do it! <laughs> As if anybody would really care about a, a speedrun of a game about screen potatoes, but still, it's worth a shot, right? Well, there we go. 
Oh yeah, I didn't actually read this. Hello, I'm going to show you how to hack Club Penguin. Remember guys, I was trying to be nostalgic with this, with this thing. Then again, I really should have put an unregistered Hypercam 2 watermark somewhere. <laughs> to really make it nostalgic, you know? Not... Not too much around here, though. As much as I'm somewhat of a sucker for old Hypercam watermarks and whatnot, that, I don't know, I think that would just be kind of distracting for a game. Just having that move all over the place or whatever. Not to mention, it'd kind of be covering up the lives as well, if we wanted to make it really realistic. Really, really realistic. Is that the new slang term now, <laughs> or something? Give me a moment. Sorry about that. Please, 009 Dreamscape. I don't get it. It didn't freeze, I just had to be right back. Switch to live chat just so that way I can see everyone's messages. That's why I know people could be messaging and I can't couldn't see them since I was just on top chat. Uh, fine, I suppose. I've been fine. I think I'll stay here for a bit. Good for you, Minty. Get ready to have your ears blasted off. Is what I would say if, the, if I didn't quiet down the speakers. But still, be prepared just in case. I think I may need to be turned up a little. There we go. So I feel it was a little quiet earlier. Thankfully, I think I might have fixed it now. Quick fingers, what can I say? Oh no, PBS! I don't I don't get what's I don't get what's so, so bad about PBS. I already hurt my ears. Every single day. Good good for you? Yeah, I guess. I don't know. I don't know what to say about that, Minty. Aggressive typing. There you go, you get more. <laughs> Purgent is not enough, you need antivirus. Dita is not enough, you need Dita. Words only Dita with Dita recovery Dita. <laughs> Proto, your security is my. <laughs> so, how is you and cause since you're 16? I do not feel like trying to drive right now. <laughs> yeah, 
You know today is Matt's birthday. You think I didn't already notice? <laughs> Guy's my best friend. Of course I've noticed it's his birthday today. <laughs> He just turned 16 a few days ago. Just so you know, he's talking about Matt. I mean, he's talking about me, not Matt. I don't know if I said that correctly. <laughs> if I didn't, sorry, I meant... You're gonna melt... I find it... I don't... I don't know what I was about to say. I don't know what I was about to say! Hi, guys! Hi, Steve! I don't know, I just randomly thought of that. And of course, since I have the book of Corridors, this boss is gonna be an easy as potato fruit salad. I don't know why I just said that. Oh, you yeah, we get it. Absalom? Who's Absalom? The Locust guy in the chat? I think I've gotten all the keys so far. Ever watch Ron Gun Wrong? I don't usually watch movies that much. I don't usually watch movies as much as I did as a kid. Oh, the only one I'm really interested in seeing right now is Sonic 2, and I guess that new Jackass movie looks pretty cool. Yabba dabba don't. It's it granddad! Obviously. What about the Super Chris Pratt movie? I totally forgot about that and I was just fighting bootleg Mario aka granddad over there. Sometimes you just forget, you know? It's hard to remember stuff that doesn't have trailers. Where's the Mario movie trailer? Where's the Mario movie trailer Illumination? I know you're hiding it. Yeah, yeah, we get it, Murray. Let's just kill you and get this over with. Oh good, the sixth key. Just hiding in the dirt, I guess. Let's just 
throw these at a grave that somehow magically opens a portal. Because logic, I guess. It's a video game. Don't expect everything to be realistic. <laughs> Stage 7, the grand finale. Here we go. Final level of the entire game. I don't know what's going on in the chat, but you know what? I am not going to question it. I'm just going to continue playing Potato Game like nothing is happening. And here he is again. You're crap, Jeff. Hey, guys, quit. Hey, guys, quit complaining. Hey, could you guys stop arguing in the chat? We're literally playing a game about potatoes here. It's really, there's really no use in arguing. It's gonna make things worse. Elmo. Close. Bye, Tim. See you never again. Oh wait, you're back. No, you're not. Elmo more like Microwave. Yeah, that's that's the parody version's name, Microwave. Johnny just likes naming the characters here after kitchen appliances. Goose. And you can thank Jack Lucas Caffrey again for the awesome uh, final level music, which just sounds amazing in my opinion. Buy trash. Buy money. I'm gonna take your cash. <laughs> Maybe I'll let you guys listen to that in your own time, but for now we got a final, final boss to take on. And what do you know, it's that inverted potato I was talking about earlier. Oh gee, wasn't expecting him. I'm just gonna take these keys and become super, because logic I guess. Matt with you, he could have pressed the that was the easy button for me. I don't have one of those. Let's get at okay. Thing is exploding. Let's GTFO. Five magic thing of a jake. I don't know. And that's the game. <laughs> the credits here are basically the same, just with some additions from the final level and whatnot. That was easy. <laughs> basically. Before I had one of those buttons. I need a that was easy button. Die, Portal! Come on, man. Portal's a great game. Why do you, why do you want Portal to die? <laughs> I mean, technically speaking, it's already dead. The last game in the mainline series released, like, ten years ago.
Just so you know, I would have made the music higher quality if it didn't absolutely kill the game's file size. Ever to go to be a PG4? Uh, probably not. I kind of want Potato Game 3 over here to be the final in the trilogy. Oh, sure thing, John. I guess that's the game ain't too loud anymore, it's safe to turn this up. I could crank it up to 11 if I could, but unfortunately it just goes up to 10. And yes, Jack Lucas definitely did do this music. Because of course he did. And there I am again, voicing every single character! Ah, crap. <laughs> it can't play too far on this for some reason. So, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm going to uh, open another window of the video, that way we can take in the rest of the music. Because I have to do that. I don't know why I have to do that. Angry Bird Man of 3, you're in the credits. Of course he is! He upped the game! Making a game is a lot harder than I make it look. Okay? I don't know how I'm supposed to actually do this. Uh, you know, we'll just switch to the desktop and like play from here. Again, if anybody had like any questions or something, don't be afraid to type in the chat, I suppose. He is, he is gonna go and scream. It's what he lives for. All of his friends are. You're assuming the potato has friends. That's cute. To think he actually has friends. <laughs> Potato game. Yep! <laughs> Either that's supposed to be potato game and emojis, or the potato playing the game itself with a controller. Even credits potato gaming. Yeah, I helped out with a lot. Alright, let's see the voices. Screen Potato Head, Alex Poor, Sock the JPEG, Angry Birdman, Oven Street Residence, Angry Birdman, Crafted Fetasword, Angry Birdman, Oven, Angry Birdman, Clyde, Angry Birdman, Murray, Angry Birdman, Tim! A uh, copper two. That's that's not Angry Birdman. And Verso, Alex Poor. Because it's the same potato screen except inverted. You ever going to make more MS a Jance video? I didn't know Potato Game had its own theme song. You, you, you haven't played Potato Game, have you? <laughs> you ever going to make more MS Ad A Jats video? Uh, probably. I just ran out of ideas. Making one video a day was hard, you know? Trying to come up with one original idea a game, man. A day. <laughs> It's a lot harder than I made it seem, really. I had to melt my brain. It's all ABMO free. Space Station saw you- Oh yeah, you oh, it said that. Other music for you, Video Zone, yada yada, yada yada. And he is a rage screamer. <laughs> yeah, it seems like the type of guy who rage from... from losing and... Fuck night or something, I don't know. I do not like Fortnite, just so you guys know. And of course I had to thank Jack again for this awesome Potato Game theme song. He wrote... He basically wrote all the lyrics, although I... 
Although I supervise some of them and change some of them. Yeah, this is a big, big time. He screams cuss words like a seven year old when he rages! <laughs> Are you ever going to release some album? Uh, I don't know, honestly. Of the game. Oh, oh, get to specify. I, I'm not a songwriter, so I probably wouldn't release an album of my own music, because I can't write my own music. As for the Tato game, uh, I'm not sure. I'd produce some of the music on CD if I could, but uh, as it stands, I have no idea how to do that and sell it legally. Who we'll press that to too soon? Angry Bird Man on free. Angry Bird Man on free everywhere. Thanks, Buzz! <laughs> Alright, well... I think... I think that might have been every single potato game. There is one more in this application, the boss rush, but let's be real here, I don't think any of you want to see every single boss again, nor do I want to put myself through the pressure of Beating all the bosses with just one life and the same health without all of them. <laughs> so, uh... So, uh, yeah, I think that might be the end of the stream here. I'm sorry if it wasn't as long as you were expecting it to be. Then again, these games are short. So, uh, unless you have some, like, last-minute questions or something, I'll be ending the stream here very shortly. Yeah, I'm gonna make another scene with, like, the thumbnail image. Yeah, you know, just to kind of make it blend in once it... Yeah, there's the thumbnail. <laughs> I made this in, like, three minutes in paint.net. Probably because I was rushing to, like, you know, meet the 3 p.m. deadline. Jesus Christ, it's already 4.38? Missed it half. Well, I'm probably going to keep the stream up after the fact, so. Yeah, you've said that like three times, Lucas. So uh, unless any of you have like any last minute questions or something, I'll be ending the stream in about two minutes or so. Any questions? You, hey, that, yeah, that, that works. And you know what, just to feed it around everything else, bam, Comic Sans, you're welcome. Outline. Oh, I can outline it, cool. Uh, five, ten, select color, black. Comic Sans, just because I can. I'm gonna cut the font size in half. Okay, I got one. Alright, well, what are you waiting for? S send it over. Bring me and Johnny on this stream if you can. What, like, right now? Would it be Grimace Dress Buzzer to a Big Mac the movie the game the story the sequel? <laughs> uh... I'd have to make the first one first. Besides, that's a very absurd idea you got there, John. This guy's all about absurd ideas, let me tell you. Can I have the textures and sounds and the media? Uh, the source files are not available. Also, why did you guys react to the stuff I made in Jackbox 7? I have not seen the stuff you made in Jackbox 7, and I don't really plan on it. Long account, I'm uploading something. <laughs> Minty's Edit Palace. I'm gonna see if I can uh, bring Jack here. Give me a moment. I can... I say something, I guess. 
Hello, I'm Jack Lucas Caffrey. If anyone can hear me, please say yes. I mean, it just... came out of nowhere. <laughs> okay. Yep, I got two of the guy. Yep, I got uh, two of the guys here to uh, do the thing. Yeah, well, I can I can speak about any sort of behind the scenes relating to the music potato game three, as I did do the music for potato game three, the, especially the last four or five songs you may have heard. And you can ask, also ask me questions for the stupid inside jokes I made for the game as well. Yes, I, I even don't understand them. That's how inside the inside jokes are. <laughs> <laughs> then again, you haven't been in, then again, you haven't been in our groups for as long as I have. Let alone yeah, that. <laughs> that. That also helps as well. <laughs> Jack oh, Lucas God. Caffrey, is that you? Yes, it him. Uh, thanks for, thanks for... Y yes, yes it is Space Station 77. <clears throat> you spelled my name wrong, it's not E-R-Y, it's R-E-Y. Whoops! Oh man, the... For some reason. Oh I... man, the mistakes already begin. Yes, I... jerk. <laughs> Guy did it even worse. Maybe in the future <laughs> I may appear sometime. Yeah, I don't. Maybe, I wouldn't count on it. <laughs> I guess in the meantime, you guys want to hear me do some ridiculous voice impressions up of the characters. Uh, go yeah. nuts! Go nuts! <laughs> All right, who should I start off with? Uh, go ahead and start off with uh, Crafton. All right, I like to fight with movies. Ahoy there! <laughs> Hey, do you guys have any, uh, Pirate and My Little Pony episodes? <laughs> yeah, that's just a recent joke we, uh, came up with, courtesy of Jackbox Party Pack 4, Survive the Internet. Crafted now Pirates My Little Pony episodes now, for some reason. <laughs> yep. Alright. Oh, any other characters? Uh, I guess Clyde. He's one of the more common characters in the game. <laughs> there he goes! He's dead for, like, the... Tenth time now, I guess. <laughs> Alright, uh, I guess do, uh, I guess do most, if not all the, I guess do most, if not all the, uh, bosses from the game, in order. Okay, well, um, I guess I'll start off with, um, hmm. Let me see if I can okay. get them in order here. Alright, the king... Okay, well, I, mean, I, I didn't voice him because he was probably from the cutscenes, which I actually did since it's mixed in the game. But I guess I will try and voice him with my impression. My boy, this piece is what all true warriors strive for. My boy. <laughs> and for Link, oh boy, I'm so hungry, I could eat an Octorok. <laughs> and for Yeah, boy, I'll take that. You want it? It's yours, my friend. As long as you have enough rupees. <laughs> and here's Tim. Let's just do this. <laughs> I am not happy at all. Screw Murray Woogle for ruining my career. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Murray? Sonic.jpg. I am dog! Woof, woof. Can I have the game files, please? You asked this, like, three times. The source files are not freely distributable. They're for the team and the team only. The team consisting of me, John, Cam, Matt, Jack, Mem, and the Screen Potato himself, because why not? Right, <laughs> Even I don't have the source code made, so, like, you know. <laughs> and here's, here's Oven. Hello, Oven! It's me, Oven! Look at the Oven Street! the Street! Welcome to Oven Street! Welcome to Oven Street! Welcome and he just Oven repeats Street. that ad nauseum. Oven Street! Welcome to Oven Street! Welcome to Oven Street! <laughs> <laughs> right, here's Protogen. Hey, do you know me? I'm Proto. And if you want the one that's from the iconic uh, ad that was used in the 3D model, here it is. Antivirus is on up. You need Protogen. Where it's only antivirus with detail recovery software. Think beyond antivirus. Think Avast. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Next up, uh, Ganon. Here we go. You dare bring light to my lair. 
must die. Uh, sorry, I cut off a little there for you guys, but uh. <laughs> And here's, uh, I'll just do Joel's, uh, impression of, uh, the granddad scene. <laughs> Flintstones? Uh, granddad. Granddad? What the crap? Granddad? <laughs> no, the guy does, no, John does not curse. <laughs> nope. Yeah, no, he, he is one of the cleanest guys when it comes to his vocabulary, and, uh, well, that's a good thing. Well, besides the word crap. <laughs> And I guess for most of the jokes as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh. Boss you. Oh, wait, not boss you. Crap. I'll do boss you again. Sorry, Link. I can't <laughs> give credit. Come back when you're a little. Mm, richer. I met Murray. He met a nowhere. Once again. But this time, an actual potato game live stream. <laughs> He's on his crappy guitar and he came out of nowhere. <laughs> yep, yeah, I came out of nowhere. <laughs> <laughs> and actually, uh, Alex, since it's uh, St. Patrick's Day, and I know you wanted me to do uh, Oven in an Irish accent, I'll do Oven in an Irish accent if, if you'd like right now for you. Wait, did I say that? I mean, go nuts, dude, but I'll remember that. <laughs> I will send you the, the, the message you gave me, but yes. Ah, uh, how are you? My name is Oven. Welcome to Oven Street, lads. And, uh, if you cross Oven Street the wrong way, I'll be cooking you and be talking ovens. Ah, uh, how are you? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't, I don't know another character I should voice. Grimace. Oh, yeah. He voice acting Grimace, too. <laughs> <laughs> ah, yes. My name's Grimace. Welcome to my game. <laughs> Big Mac! Big Mac! <laughs> Get Big Mac! <laughs> Can I be the dev? Uh, positions aren't exactly, you know, available, dude. It's mostly just me and yeah, my- Especially for a game that's finished. <laughs> it's mostly just me- It's mostly just me and my good friends here, just having fun with Click Team Fusion and whatnot, making these dumb games. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um... So, what should we do? We should maybe speak a little bit about the, that goddamn music ideas. Uh, what, 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 what song should we start with of the ones that I did? Uh, let's start... <laughs> uh, Johnny, you go ahead and you, because I just want Jack himself to talk. Uh, let's uh, start off with my song, Game Out of Nowhere. <laughs> yeah, let's go with that. Uh, I was going to say the Potato Game fame, but we could do Came Out of Nowhere first, since it to be, seems to be the most famous. Uh, Jack, you have the floor. I'm out of here, bye. Yeah, it's it's so famous, actually, that I uh, came out of nowhere track that an actual TV presenter from Virgin Media put it on his Facebook. I'm not kidding you. Uh, that only happened last week. But yeah, that song, I just remember seeing that Murray character while I was playing the first two games. I was like, I feel like writing a little track of this. So I wanted to write, like, some sort of, like, sort of the offspring sort of sounding song. So I just thought I'd do that, and I came up with this sort of riff and sort of medley, played it on my guitar, because I started learning the guitar and everything. And uh, that was the, that's how it came out of nowhere, it came out of nowhere. And um, it's uh, like a one minute song, and it's, it's actually kind of cool. And a lot of people like it, which is quite surprising. And yes, you can speak again, Alex. In fact, you can speak with me. <laughs> I didn't even... Honestly, I didn't even know, like, a uh, producer for Virgin Media, uh, like, yeah. actually heard about the song. All I know is, is that... That is, that is so cool. Like, all, yeah. is, all I know is that... All I know is yeah, that Murray I'll... Cook, the Murray Cook, mind you, knows about the whole Woogles sort of thing. Though I'm unsure if he knows yeah. about the actual song. He does. He does, actually. But he does know about Murray's crappy basics and crappiness and more crappiness. <laughs> they, uh, Baldi's basic mod I made in the past. <laughs> yeah. Yes. That was, that was simply because I, I was with you guys for a good bit, and I was like, well, do you know what? Because I do, some people don't realize this, especially the American audience I have. But I actually do a radio program. In fact, actually, I'm going to be on tomorrow from fr this Friday 
at 9 p.m. GMT. So if you can tune in, you'll get to hear me. I'm actually going to be interviewing a Formula One commentator on. But anyway, back to the Murray interview. I interviewed Murray just for the sake of uh, talking to him and also telling him about the Murray Woogle meme. And uh, that was hilarious. And I remember showing it to Johnny as a surprise uh, and everyone else. And Johnny was, and I told Johnny, I said, oh, wait till you hear what he says about Murray Woogle. And you, you were going, oh no, oh no, oh no, I know, I'm not looking forward to this. He actually quite likes the, the Murray Woogle meme. He, he thought it was funny. Yeah. I thought, I was, if I've got to be honest, I was quite surprised. I was like, oh no, he knows about my stupid meme. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> but so he turned out to like it. And uh, and I also told him about the song. I said, I, I told him about that and I thought it was funny. And uh, yeah, and then only like a few days ago, one of the people I interviewed, Noel Cunningham, who is on Virgin Media, he. Um, I'll be right back. Yeah, sure. He, he, he just put it up on his Facebook, he just wrote FAB, and, and, and then like a few hours later he just told me that he was a dead cool rocker at heart, and that's why he put it up. Uh, so uh, that was pretty cool. Uh, that was pretty cool. Alex Tool Studios asked, do I have it on Spotify? No, I don't, but my music is on Spotify, especially the Bad Boys soundtrack, that's there. And uh, who knows, maybe the Potato Game music I did will go into Spotify one day. I actually wouldn't mind the tracks I did for the Potato Game to go into Spotify. That would be kind of funny. Imagine that, came out of nowhere on Spotify. <laughs> that would be funny. Yeah, that, yeah, that would be amazing, came out of and nowhere. The first, and came the first out of thing I heard when I came back is... <laughs> it came out of nowhere on Spotify. Yeah, that would be amazing. Oh, and uh, if you're wondering, Bad Boys is basically like some sort of movie that Jack directed or something. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I made it back in 2018 when I was 14. Now I'm 18. <laughs> I was working in 2018. And then I finished it uh, just before that whole virus thing happened. Uh, so that was probably good timing because uh, <laughs> yeah. that movie would have never finished. Uh, um, yeah. Alright, let's yeah, talk. Well, let's talk more about the uh, potato. Let's talk more about the uh, main theme, the potato game theme song. Uh, how that really yes. come to be? Yes. Welcome to Potato Game. I love that song. That is one of my most favorite songs I've ever written, actually. Uh, surprisingly, and it's a bit of a weird one because, like, that song is like has so much of my inspirations like the, the people i inspire that inspire me in music practically all of the people that inspire me in music inspired that song in some sort of way so like maybe if it was only a couple of notes or like a couple of things um that song just sort of inspired it so like i suppose the really stupid lyrics that i wrote for it the really odd lyrics i suppose that would probably Come from my late friend Shay Healy, because he wrote a load of really, really mad songs about the, the most ridiculous things you'd ever hear of. Um, uh, and that, so, some of it is also like some of the people that worked on like the Bad Boys soundtrack, for example, like Omar Naber. One of his songs kind of loosely inspired uh, the Potato Game theme. Uh, uh, God, like you, you, you nearly want to. We, we nearly would want to want to run down the lyrics of it, like because that 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 song took like a month to make. Like so, like Alex, the, Alex and Johnny, if you have que more like questions to build on for that, because that that's kind of kind of trying to get into my brain here to think how that that whole thing sort of came together. Maybe we should listen to the song actually, and maybe I'll actually be able to tell. Uh, I don't remember how to, like, add audio files to this, <laughs> like, uh, at all. Well, uh, well, you could play this song, you could play the song through the, uh, couldn't you play the song through the stream? Oh, yeah, I could do that. Uh, yeah, yeah, and we could talk about, and look, and, uh, I will also let people know that soon enough, there was a music video for, for uh, came out of nowhere on my YouTube. There will be one for Welcome to Potato Game as well. So, uh, yes, there will be. I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> yes, that, that, and, uh, 
may I add, I went to a nice old recording studio to, to, to film that. Uh, so uh, a big shout out to John Graham for letting me use the studio uh, to film the potato game theme music music video thing. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, Mincy asks, am I planning to make more music videos for our tracks? Well, yeah, I am. There's many I haven't actually made a, a, a song, a, a music video for, so, like, I, I have to anyway. I, I have to do it, so... I do not remember yeah. where I put the Potato Game theme song. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and re-download it from our uh, private chat here. <laughs> I probably don't even have that there, because it was a WAV file I sent you. <laughs> Sorry, the file you have so, requested does not exist. <laughs> yeah, so let me let me find that for I don't know. Where did I put it? Where where I'll where come is to it? Post where? it. We're having trouble where? trying to find the actual music file. <laughs> like it's not where is it? It's not on my computer. On my laptop. <laughs> it's <pretty> <laughs> Oh no. <laughs> no, I know it's probably it's probably on my um uh, oh no, uh, hold on a minute, it's probably on my phone. I can probably send, send it on my phone here. Uh, thanks, Minji, for the, uh, uh, the, uh, the compliments of my type of rock that I do. I did. Uh, right. Oh, I think I found it, I think I found it. Oh, did you? Did you? Just, just check, because I know there's a couple of demos I sent. And, uh, yeah, you sent, like, one demo. Oh, yeah, because I, I actually have about five, six demos of that. There we go. And so do I. I also have a demo for the the Murray theme as well. I have a couple of demos right. for that as well. Alright, I'm just okay. streaming Audacity here. Just now it's like in sync with us and whatnot. Okay, now we can. Okay, now we can actually start talking about the song because I'll actually know what how to speak about it. Okay, let's go. He's gonna go and scream. Just adjusting so, yeah. the volume here. Yeah, so I sampled the screaming potato there on that, and that was just sort of, I wanted something that would be punchy, like, he's gonna go and win and scream! I wanted something very punchy. And that sort of melody that was very, like, uh, Je suis un pompe de means I am a potato in French, and that's the only bit of French I know, and that's why I said that. <laughs> And, uh, yeah, I think the melody, like, a, that first intro melody is very, like, based off a song that my, uh, Jesus, it's glitching out like mad for me, that's weird. Um, Probably because I'm already streaming on, on YouTube. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, anyway, the, so, like, the first bit of the track, that intro, is sort of based off, like, this track and the chorus. Based off this song that uh, an old acquaintance of mine, Omar, made called Visbus Theus, or something like that. It's in Slovenian, so I don't know the name of it. Um, and then this vocal bit was a bit like, um, it was kind of based off one of my acquaintances, Johnny G. Welly, who does a lot of music for Sonic the Hedgehog. Uh, I sometimes talk to him every now and again. Not a lot, but I, I have spoken to him. And that's hey yeah hey yeah hey yeah hey yeah. That comes from another demo that I did. That comes from a demo that I did three years ago. And a bit of that melody also comes from like a bit of inspiration from another acquaintance of mine named Ron Wasterman, who made the Power Rangers song. So that's where that sort of came from. And this bit, prefer prepare for your tinnitus. My dad has tinnitus, and at that. That noise plays in his ears. So uh, that was sort of the inspiration from that. And this bit here, that goes from the Omar song as well. And that, you hear that little high bit there where I do. Ah, ah, ah. You hear that, guys? Yeah. Well, that there comes from actually. So, one of my friends is a singer, her name is Kai LaBelle, and she's able to do this really, like, she has a really, really good voice, a really wide range, and she's able to do this really high-pitched noise, 
notes that I really like, and because I couldn't, you know, like, I couldn't get her to do this song, I just sort of went, uh, I'll just do it myself. I'll just go, oh, 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 do it myself. I think it's going out well. So yeah, that's where that sort of comes from. Yeah, that's kind of the song. It's just sort of, uh, came from, like, various places to form this one little piece. And I'm quite proud of it. I quite like it. Watch him scream on the count of three. Hey, yeah, hey, yeah, hey, yeah. And my mom loves that bit as well. She loves that bit though. Hey, yeah, hey, yeah, hey, yeah, hey, yeah. She loves that bit. And, um, that's that song, but I will admit there was actually a little cut bit at the very end of the song. Originally, I was actually going to do my blinky voice and have at the very end, you know, people commonly refer to me as, and then the screaming potato was going to go, ah! <laughs> <laughs> if you want me, that's in reference to one of uh, Matt's videos. <laughs> oh, yeah, so, yeah, that was, um, that was something there, so, uh, yeah, that was, uh, that, that was the, um, uh, yeah, that, that was the, um, uh, the, the, the potato game theme. Welcome to potato game. Uh, yeah, and there's, uh, various versions of that, which maybe I'll release someday. There, uh, where I scat through it, I'm just going, she da ba ba da ba da ba 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 da ba ba da ba something like that. I have never, I don't think I got that demo. No, you never got that one. And there's a one where I I um, play the guitar wrong. And then there's there's a version of came out of nowhere where it's just me going as the drums. And instead of saying he's on his crappy guitar and he came out of nowhere, I say. He's on his crappy skateboard, and he came out of nowhere. Skateboard? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, nobody knows this, but Murray is a very cool skater, dude, and that's a fact. <laughs> I'm, way, I'm way better than Tony. I'm way better than Tony Hawk. <laughs> <laughs> but I'll tell you why I, I did skateboard. It was because when I first saw it, I remembered it wrong, and I thought I saw Murray on a skateboard rather than holding a guitar. <laughs> For whatever reason. And then when I looked back at it, it went, oh, oh, crap, it's a guitar. All right, I'm going to have to change. Luckily, I, that's actually kind of fits the melody better, so I'll change that. And then, um, and also because going back to came out of nowhere, because I didn't know about Murray and the Wiggles. And the only Murray I knew was the old F1 commentator, Murray Walker. The lyric originally was, and it is in the, the second chorus, This is not Murray Walker who would make drying paint sound exciting! And the only reason I put that is because Murray Walker would make drying paint sound exciting. <laughs> uh, that's the only reason why I put that lyric there. Like, if you just listen to any commentary of Murray Walker, like, that man will, will make, uh, Anything sound good. Yeah, Minty, you're on your crappy computer and you came out of nowhere. <laughs> you <laughs> came out of nowhere to my stream. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Um, I don't know yeah. what I sound like Grimace okay. for a minute there. What, what, what other songs did I do again? I, I, I think there's like... Uh, there. You did the grand finale. Oh yeah, the grand finale. So the grand finale, that, um, that track wasn't supposed to be for Potato Game. That was actually supposed to be for the second series of my show, Action John, which I do with my granddad. Uh, and if you're listening, granddad, I hope you're having a good time. Uh, but yes, uh, Action John, that was supposed to be for. I can, and, um, I can play that right now if you want me to. Um, you don't have to because, like, uh, I, I, don't, I don't really, like, uh, it, it, I don't need it to be played for me to remember because i remember what happened essentially I... you okay you essentially what happened was you, you told me right jack we have like a day to finish the game and i was like okay crap that's my sleep gone out the window <laughs> let's get this game done and dusted may i also ask 
I had a radio show to do where I interviewed Eric Kelso, the voice actor of Captain Falcon, to also edit as well. So I Falcon! To... Punch! <laughs> yeah, him! I had, and I had to, I had to get the, um... So I had to edit that, and I also was doing the game show as well, so I had to edit all this while doing a scene for, um... Potato Game, uh, the grand finale! So, what I just sort of did was, I couldn't come up with a medley, so I just used one of the score tracks from Action John the sequel, and just made it into this fast, upbeat thing. Originally it was a slow, uh, sort of build-up song, and then it turned into that sort of... Um, and, uh, yeah. And I did a version of that which isn't released, where, um... I play that on my guitar, and that's really good sounding. And then I got that version, and I uh, put the uh, the rock rapping over it uh, as a little bit of a joke for no reason. <laughs> but that's not in Potato Game. <laughs> Obviously um, not. It's a mini. Yeah. <laughs> um, and because I was also running very low on time to do music for it, that's actually how the bad ending theme is done by David Adderley. So, I can speak about that if you want as well. Yeah, go ahead. Right, so, that song is actually, a, it's not actually about Potato Game. That song was made to take the absolute mick out of boy bands and just, like, laugh at them and just, just laugh at boy bands, essentially. So, it was around, like, Christmas 2020. And uh, I was with David in one of the shopping centers in Dublin, uh, which is nearby where I live. And uh, we were just walking around after doing a radio program, and because he does music, and a lot of more people would know him for doing music, especially in Britain, because he appeared on the British version of The Voice back in 2019 with his mate of Manny. And so I knew he was a good you know, composer and everything, and was able to play guitar really well. So I, I just said, look, I've been thinking of making a song just joking about boy bands. Could you help me make a boy band song? They said, okay, sure. How do you want me to, to make it sound? I just said, boy bands. He said, okay, I'll do that. So he made it anyways uh, and sent it to me. I said, that sounds great. I'll do some vocals for that. Six months later, I did no vocals for that, and I was stuck for a song for Potato Game 3. And um, I just simply called him at like 11 in the, in the night when he was about to go to bed. Like, he, 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 and I just said, hey, David, video call may I add as well, so I could see how wrecked he was. I said, hey, David. He's like, what, Jack? I said, you know that boy band track he did for me? Yeah. How would you like that in a video game about... Um, a potato that screams so loud that he damages your ears. He said, yeah, Jack, I love that, to be that. I was like, okay, great. You don't mind if it's a MIDI? Yes, yeah, sure, Jack. And I was like, okay. So I MIDI programmed his guitar playing and his drum, because he played that whole thing, may I add. He played like these, I, I didn't even program some of it, because some of the stuff he did was like this, epic guitar solo that I wouldn't have been able to program on time. <laughs> and I, I stayed up all night just programming that, and uh, I don't even think David has heard the full version of that MIDI track that I did for that, but uh, uh, yeah, I, I, that was my MIDI programming that I did there. I'm actually quite proud of how I MIDI programmed that. Like, it actually is quite authentic. It does sound like how the boy band track did sound like. Uh, and I do think the bass line's better. No offense, David, but I do. <laughs> so, <laughs> essentially, knowing the context and all that, is the game basically making fun of you when you get the bad ending? <laughs> uh, yeah, kind of. It kind of is, in a, in a little way. <laughs> That's oh, hilarious. Me... Yeah, because it's kind of like, you just told me I want a credit, a, a credit song for the bad ending. I was like, okay. So I just did the boy band track. I was like, okay, because that's sort of like, yeah, you know, uh, you know, stupid boy band track. Yeah, let's put that in and David do it and it and it sounded pretty good. And then when you have that cutscene, it plays that really eerie version of Welcome to Potato Game because you didn't actually beat the game. So 
yeah, that's that's yeah. You're right there. Uh, and uh, then there's that one last track I did. What was it? Longing the. Uh, yeah, the uh, Adverso battle. Yeah, the Inverso battle. So that was the first MIDI I programmed because I wanted to do some work for the game. And actually how it came to, uh, to be that I, I got to work on Zeta Game 3 was I asked, I, I said to Alex, if he wanted music, I could do it for him. And so he just said, oh yeah, right. As if like, you know, as if I was kind of joking around and w wasn't going to do it. So I just was like, well, I'm going to do it anyway. So I, that was the first thing I MIDI programmed was that. And that song, I actually didn't write that for Potato Game. I wrote that for a musical I was writing in 2018. <laughs> so quite a long time ago. And it wasn't even for the... Uh, I'm glad... I, 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 I believe I bored you to death, Alex Tool Studios. Nice to know. Anyway... <laughs> And the, 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 when, when I, I, I was I wrote that for the, um, I wrote that for that musical and, uh, that musical never ended up happening. Uh, so I just left that song there. I quite liked it. And then when I started learning guitar again, I re-performed it on the guitar to see what I could do. And it was like, oh, that actually sounds really good. I really like that. So I did that. I put it, I put it together. And I liked it, and I was going to do some vocals on it, and I didn't really know what to write it about, so I I was trying to write it myself, and I couldn't really. Uh, and then I sent it to my friend Kai LaBelle. I sent it to her because uh, uh, I, I wanted to do some new music because the last song we did was like goddamn ages ago, but she wasn't able to do it because uh, she was working on a different song called Can't Fight Forever. So uh, that was unfortunate. She wasn't able to do that. But, uh, so I just sort of was like, okay, this song is just sort of stuck in a rug. It's just lying there. I can't, I can't figure out lyrics. I can't figure out what to do with it. And then all of a sudden I thought, you know what, feck it. This is going to be the, the, the bad and this is going to be the final boss for Potato Game 3. I'm just going to write. <laughs> so I just put some orchestrated midis over it. And uh, for what I made the melody uh, over. And, and I tried writing lyrics for it. But at the time, my best friend Shay Healy died. So I was kind of depressed. And the lyrics were kind of depressing. So. It just didn't really work that way, and so it just stayed as this little MIDI thing. But I hope to one day get the, uh, I probably won't do vocals on it, but I, I, I'm hoping to get a violin player and a trumpet player onto that track someday. And uh, hopefully I'll get to do that soon because that that, that that actually really cool. But yeah, that's how that that that, that came, came out. In fact, I actually remember that melody, that da 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 I remember where I wrote that. I wrote that in my mom's car when she was doing a wedding ceremony. I just was sitting there, I was messing around with like a, my iPad's keyboard. That sort of melody came out. I was like, oh, I quite like this. And it just sort of stuck with my head ever since. And you could actually maybe play that track, Alex, because of uh, the screen potato and Inversa were so loud that you can't actually hear the song. <laughs> oh, oh yeah, you're right. They were. <laughs> <laughs> so might as well play it so that people know what the hell I'm, uh, I'm talking about. All right, give me a moment. Yeah, yeah. I guess um, in the meantime, so uh, Minty asked me if I could say Big Mac in Murray's voice, so I might as well do it. <laughs> <laughs> Get big, Mac, you piece of crib. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. You're welcome, Mincy. Uh, uh, let me hear it. All right, are you guys... There we go. Okay, you can hear the mini driver, right? Yeah, I can. I can hear it. All right, just make it sure. All right, here, uh, we... here we go. All right, here we go. This is the uh, this is the adversal battle music that you couldn't hear because the two are so damn loud. <laughs> Program drums um, from like my acquaintance Ron Wasserman because he has a lot of fake instruments, so I just sort of was studying his music. 
And that MIDI keyboard there would be guitar. And that da 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 that's from, that's from that time I was in the church waiting for my man to finish her gig. And then there is the glitch again. <laughs> That's because I'm running two streams at once. I'm showing these guys the Audacity program in Discord, and then ah. you guys are seeing the background. And just the trumpet and the violin together. I really enjoy them. And like, I really want really to get a real violin player, the trumpet player on this. I already have actually spoken to, um, um, this guy, you know, Nick Donalds, uh, he's a trumpet player in, um, one of Ireland's greatest show albums, uh, The Drifters, um, with Joe Poland. So I'm, I'm, I've asked him to do, to do something, and I think he'll do something cool. So, uh, hopefully one day there'll be, uh, proper versions of this, because I really do like it. And that's pretty much the track. That's it. There's nothing really much to it. It's loose. I look at the quality vibes. I mean, quality's basically used biddies for their music, so. Quality vibes? I, I, I don't remember quality having rock music, but. Uh... <laughs> I think it's the thing to do with like, some of the instruments and how some of the quality yeah. biddies used those same instruments. Yeah, I, I just didn't know because, as well as that, I wasn't programming the music using the general MIDI, I was actually programming it using the MIDI from my DAW cakewalk. So I had to re-listen to the song to hear if I was getting the proper sound that was going to come out of it. Like, the songs sound different on my, on my system than they do on, on, in the game uh, when I was programming it. Hopefully, hopefully you guys can hear Jack's voice over this. I, I'm not sure if you can. Well, I'm quite loud, so if they can't hear it, I'd be very surprised. <laughs> what the ball? This ball is in This is a ball in the city. I don't think it's 2018, man. <laughs> ball. <laughs> I wonder if ball would be a fan of this music. Actually, in the vocal version, there's a, a bit where I go, yeah, 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 and the end of it. Then right after the guitar, and I go, yeah. I actually never heard a full thing without uh, the without the screams, and actually sound really good. I never heard the, heard the full thing because I'd either be dead or or at first I would be dead by the time I tried to loop. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, 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 like, uh, it just take, it just take a while. Uh, yeah, that's all the music for, um, uh, Potato Game 3 that I did. Um, I hope you enjoyed, um, my talk through that. I probably bored some of you to death, but that's okay. That's, um, how, uh, that's, um, it, it actually, this actually was good practice for me, uh, uh tonight, because I have to record the radio program, and I need to, um, I need to kind of waffle for a bit, so this was good uh, practice for that. Oh, yeah, this was, this was good practice for you, wasn't yeah. it? <laughs> <laughs> so, if anyone has some questions for us three, um, send them in. And if you don't, then I think we'll call it we'll we'll call it a wrap. Just so you guys know, there's like some sort of delay thing of a jig going on. So, like, basically, when we talk, it takes like 15. 15 seconds for it to get to the YouTube servers, and then, like, yeah. and then when the people here send the question, it takes, like, another 15 seconds for them to hear it back through the same stream. No, viewers, you managed to find the Potato Game live stream. Well, guess what? It's time for me to give you some Happy Meals. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were going to say it's time for, it's time for me to kill your ears. <laughs> That's basically what happens with, when you encounter a screaming potato in the wild. Say goodbye to your ears. But actually, Alex, if you could read out the um, the the questions for me, that'd actually be um, quite helpful because I I'm not actually I I was actually having issues viewing comments for some reason. So if you can if you can 
uh, ask them for me, that would be great. <laughs> I, uh, uh, Alex Tolstoy has asked a question before he left while you were talking, so, uh, I guess I'll <laughs> ask that. This is kind of a question for myself, but I'll let you guys answer it too. What's your reaction to the new Pac-Man Museum game? Honestly, I myself am excited, but uh, what, what do you guys think about that? I'm very interested in it. I might try it out maybe in the future. Um, all I'll say is listen to the game show Series 4, Episode 3, the one about Lego games and credit cards. I give my thoughts on there, but the short version is I'm actually quite looking forward to it. Uh, but if you want to know what my game show team think of uh, Jack Gibney, James Goulding, and uh, our co-presenter that day, David Adderley, um, uh, listen to that episode. It's kind of funny as well. We, we, we kind of rip on a couple of games in that episode. <laughs> <laughs> like what, E.T. or Big Rigs or something? <laughs> No, Grand Theft Auto, the trilogy, the, the, the definitive edition. Oh, yeah, that. <laughs> we ripped on that game. <laughs> we ripped on that. Okay, I'm back. What I missed. Uh, well... Everything, man. <laughs> what I missed. Every... Uh, well, you missed your question, but... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> you missed the question. Oh, dear. Uh, but don't worry, you can just rewind the stream after it's, like, done or something. Yeah, yeah, you could probably already do that as well. How funny, like, Venti Leaf, Alex Tor, and Lucas Gabriel are, like, the only p people that are actually talking here. Yeah, maybe I answered all the questions when I did that long bit there. <laughs> <laughs> maybe I could find some, like, old, older questions or something. Yeah, 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 especially for, like, you know, especially if it's relating to music, I'll be able to help through that. I can't really find much up in the chat. Then again, some of them got deleted for some of the new messages. YouTube automatically deletes the comments. Don't worry, I'm not manually deleting a guys' chat messages. Hey, is okay if I say something on stream? Sure, go, go nuts. Just don't say it slow or anything, Murray. Then again, you're not really the type of person to do that, but... <laughs> I don't do that. Anyway, <laughs> hello, stream. If you see any Jeffs around, tell him he's a piece of crap for me. Thank you. Chloe, <laughs> come on! Come on, man! <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness gracious. Goodness. Uh. Like, you sure you guys don't have, like, any questions or anything? Because, like, now's the time to ask them. Yeah, now is the time. Yep. It's, it's um, you know, or, or else I'm going to be going back to my radio um, set in my room, and I'm going to be doing a bit of radio. Um, which, may I also add, so you may want to listen, tomorrow I'm going to be doing an interview with Formula One commentator Alex Jakes. Uh, that will also be up on my YouTube as well, so you can go check that out. And maybe check out the one I did with Murray, because then you'll get to hear me. Telling Murray Cook that Murray Woogle exists. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Wait, thank you for that, Jack Lucas Gaffrey. Yeah, yeah, you're welcome. Murray! Murray! <laughs> you know what? Should I actually, uh, for no reason, should I just get a video here just to show the stream that you guys can show if you want? It's yeah. hilarious. Uh, <laughs> I want you guys you know, to watch it. Sure, I'll, what is it? I'll see if what? I can, uh, <laughs> just start streaming, I'll let you know when to play. <clears throat> okay. So, wait, wait, you want me to stream it? If you want to. Now, okay. you have the floor. After the release of Potato Game 3, I decided to make this. <laughs> I think I know what this is. I right, give me a moment. Uh, yeah, window capture. I know what this is. <laughs> I know what this is. I know what this is. All right, you have the. All right, Murray, go nuts. Here we go. Huh? I wonder who that could be. Oh, it's. It's all dark. Nobody can see it. Um, hell. 
dark. Oh yeah, it is dark. <laughs> it's... Oh, there we go. Let me go play back from the beginning. Yeah, what about the stream delay? Huh, I wonder who that could be. Um... Hello? <laughs> you know, because why not? Why not, lads? Why not? <laughs> yeah, I remember that. That made Jack laugh so loud he like woke up his family or something. <laughs> almost, almost, almost woke up the whole family. Almosty. Well, there you go. That was the thing I made. <laughs> Murray! <laughs> yes, I do actually own a Murray Wiggle doll for that. <laughs> yeah, my god, my god. I remember a video of a similar setup where uh, John unboxed a copy of Storybook Weaver that I personally sent him the link to on eBay. It was brand yeah. new, sealed too. And I, yeah, <laughs> I, and I purchased it for that video. <laughs> Wait, was that for the, the, the Storybook Weaver thing? Yeah. Yep. Oh yeah, God, God Almighty, that was funny. The Storybook Weaver videos. I remember honestly watching the my third story and nearly dying in my room. <laughs> like I like my my granddad in the other room. He 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 came into me. He said, Jack. I was like, what? Are you dying of a cold? I said, no, I'm dying of laughter watching this video. <laughs> <laughs> and when I showed it to him, of course, I don't, I'm not sure how funny he thought it was, but... <laughs> yeah, no, I just, it's just funny, like, what, what, what are you looking at, Jack? <laughs> Minty asks, hey everyone, can you point your fingers and do the twist? Uh, no, but I can point my fingers and be crappy if you want me to. Can you point your fingers and be crappy? Oh, I should sing that song. Oh, copyright, gosh dang it! <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> this, this stream is turning into... The Moogles have invaded the stream, run. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I want the potato can take it back. <laughs> Grip Sally, yubby yubby. <laughs> oh god, this this is beautiful. I haven't streamed in like a year, and this is already up there with my best. <laughs> oh, well, I haven't been in a stream since that time I pretended to be Blinky the Ghost for about two hours. <laughs> yeah! How Johnny, how Johnny and I were able to do those voices for two yeah. hours, I have no idea! Yeah, I don't think... I think I would be able to do that, honestly. During that live show, I feel brain dead being quiet because I have to be stupid because I have to be in character. <laughs> May I add, doing that voice, the last time I did that voice for that long was four years ago when I was in the Olympia Theater doing that voice for the Mad Hatter in an Alice in Wonderland remake. And, like, that was a, 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 I thought I'd never be able to do that again, but I managed to somehow. <laughs> oh no, I'm not the Wiggle Puppets, anything but the... <laughs> no! The Wiggle Puppets. <laughs> oh dear gosh, no. <laughs> Watch, you guys post, you guys posted the Wiggle Puppets in the chat, didn't you? No, Minty posted something about it. If I could ever find the instrumental of the Wiggle Puppet song, I want to make a version where it's point your fingers and be crappy. Oh no. That would be amazing. That would be perfect for a Halloween special. <laughs> yeah. It really would, wouldn't it? My god. Yeah, no, I can, no, I, I can send it to Marie's email. No, no problem. <laughs> About the geniuses. Can you point your fingers and be crappy? And I would have to pitch his voice up because that's what the happened in the Wiggle Puppets music video. I would have to pitch Murray's voice up. Oh yeah, Minty says. Oh yeah, Jack. I remember you showing us that the bad had a thing. Oh yeah, yeah. I pr I should put that up on my YouTube. I should like it's, but it's like. 
I'm like young in it. And my friend Kyla, who does Alice in it, she's real young in it. <laughs> like she, she, she kind of sounds the same and kind of looks the same. Like you are, you are able to recognize us too, but we are, we are older looking now. That's for sure. But I should put that up because that, that, that actually was really fun, that show to do. And that was the last time I was on theater as well. I, re I really hope to get back on the theater sometime soon. So, yeah. <laughs> now, this has been interesting. We went from a potato game to pointing our fingers at me crap, being crappy. Being crap. Wow. <laughs> great, Steve. That was a great stream already. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, was, this was amazing. This was a good idea. I'll not be doubting yeah. doing this at first, but now that I've done it, you know what? I am totally satisfied with the outcome. I'm ready to bring crappiness out of 10. <laughs> uh, speaking <sighs> of which, uh, I think I might have to uh, end the stream now. It's getting 5 o'clock. <laughs> Damn. I've been streaming since free. <laughs> which uh, was... Well, I, I, I don't... Well, you see, you live in America, and I live in Ireland, the home of St. Patrick's Day. And, uh, like, it's, it is actually half 10 where I am. Yeah, Jack's all the way in Ireland, so his time zone is definitely a bit different than ours. It's yeah. not always available. Yeah, uh, mine is at the GMT time zone, but in a few days' time, it'll be BST. Even though I'm an hour ahead from Alex, as I'm uh, from the Eastern Standard Time. Yeah, that's kind of... I'm able to speak to people there, because, like... That's like New York, Florida area, and like and, I'm, I, I'm in, you know, that's the only parts of America I've ever been to is New York and Florida. In fact, Florida, you can find that video of me. Yeah. <laughs> uh, next time well. you uh, next time you visit here in America, you should like go to Chicago and visit uh, Galloping Ghost Arcade. It's really cool. Yeah, well, I'm probably gonna go back to America someday soon. I don't know when, when, when whenever, whenever it comes up, but. I wouldn't mind going back. I know I pro if there's any place I will go to, it's probably California, because my guitar teacher lives there, and so does a couple of people I know live there, like Lisa Wilkerson and Ron Wasserman. They all live in the California area, so that probably would be the place I'd most likely go to next. Uh, I can play Noah Bear. Asks, "Hey Jack, how are you?" Um. I'm doing pretty good. I have a show on tomorrow where I'm interviewing two people. Uh, one that one of the interviews is uh, is like with a book author who writes not very uh, nice books. They're very rude books. Uh, and the <laughs> other one is with uh, is with um, a F1 commentator named Alex Jakes. And that interview I've been wanting to do for like a year now. Well, at least you're not... finally going to be doing it. So at least you're not really... interviewing Bowie Walker. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> and uh, I'm going to have to waffle through it as well. So like, um, because it's going to be a pre-recorded show, so I'm going to have to waffle a little bit. Um, and uh, yeah. And if you guys ever want to see me, uh, I'll be at Oven Street. <laughs> You know Oven hates you, right, Murray? I know that. <laughs> Oven's a piece of crap. Shut up! <laughs> <laughs> oh, also, I can say, uh, as well for St. Patrick's Day, I can say, um, hello, I'm Oven, and welcome to Oven Street in Irish for you. Oh, also, okay. Also, uh, Ekin also asks, Hey, Jack, did you know you were in my latest YouTube poop? Well... Kinda. No, I did not. Please send that to me. I, I, I'm curious to see what, what that, what that's about. Where is Matt when you need him? Ask the Ox Tool Studios. He's on vacation right now. Can a guy take a break? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's a, he just switched to another room in his house. Don't worry, he'll be back. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be, it'll be back. Or maybe he's thinking he's, he's going to Claremont uh, play uh, in, in crazy compositions. 
By the way, we had to watch Crazy Compositions. At least the pilot that's out right now. It's very good. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And there'll be more episodes uh, coming soon, so you should uh, you should check out Matt. He's going to have a couple of cool episodes, and he's going to use his uh, animating skills to the best of his abilities. It's going to be pretty good. All right, well, I think I might have to uh, whack this stream up now. So uh, thanks, John and uh, Jack, for coming on. No yeah, problem. You're, you're, you're welcome, and, and thanks for actually letting us come on as well yeah. and uh, talk about because I've never really talked about these songs other than like very few times. So uh, it was it was nice to speak about them, um, and uh, yeah, hopefully soon enough the Potato Game themes uh, music video will be out soon, and uh, hopefully I'll get to recreate the um the 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 inverso track with actual instruments that would be really cool oh yeah Plus, uh, uh, one more question from ekid sorry if the sounds kind of annoying but you think you'd want to join my server i don't think jack's the kind of server person if i'm being honest oh i am not a server person i mean like even group chat is like i i uh, how I I don't know how I'm actually in a group chat. I have to be honest with you because like why because you're with us. My, yeah, yeah, that's that's it. That's the honest only. That is the only reason I am in a group chat because if it wasn't for you guys, I, I honestly wouldn't be in a group chat. I genuinely genuinely wouldn't because like I know from my experience with like my friends going back to like I remember one time I was uh, I was out with, with my friend Kyla, uh, the uh, and we were. We, we were just having a bite to eat and i'm telling you now her group chat was just going bing 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 every five seconds <laughs> while we were while we were having lunch and she was like what the why is it why are they missing it's like this is why i don't join group chats <laughs> so uh yeah that's why and um yeah, yeah that, that's why I always mute the servers I join in, just so I don't get those annoying notification sounds. How do you want me yeah, to send yeah. the YouTube poop, Jack? Uh, don't worry, Ekin, I'll I'll take care of that for you. Yeah, the YouTube poop. This is um, I, I, I am I am I am I am scared and also not to watch this. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what to think of this. <laughs> yeah, I haven't seen it either. Uh, all right, well, thanks for coming on to the stream, jo John and Jack. Uh, I'm going to stop streaming in about a few seconds now. Uh, and thanks, yeah. everyone else, for uh, coming into the chat. Uh, I appreciate all the support, or uh, whatever. Whatever I'm supposed to say at the end. It's not like I have a script sitting next to me. Gee. <laughs> just just thank everyone you know. Just, just thank, you know, the, uh, the everyone. Your mom, your dad, your... <laughs> Your dog, your cat, everyone. <laughs> uh, I'd like to thank the Screaming Potato for uh, allowing me to make this dumb stuff. <laughs> thank and, uh, Screaming Potato. And, 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 and the Screaming Potato has some words here. So, Screaming Potato, what do you think of that? <laughs> I, I, can't, I can't exactly get it to pick up. <laughs> well, that's, good, that's good enough. I heard a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> all right, well, all right, well uh, thanks everyone for tuning into the stream, and I'll catch you all, uh, whatever. I still do not have a schedule. I need to make a schedule. <laughs> anyway, I'll see you all later. Bye. We're out of here. Bye. I'm out of here. Bye.